Dolores was at a senior citizen's dance when she suffered a stroke and lost the use of her left side. She's been bedridden for a year and can no longer take care of her small general store. Dolores closed it down and lost her source of income. Like Dolores, her daughter Susan is a widow. Susan works at a sewing factory all day and doesn't earn enough to support her children and provide for her mother's food and medication. Everything is so difficult. I often call on God and ask Him to take me and end my suffering. That's why Operation Blessing invited Dolores and Susan to a medical mission in their community, where Dolores went for a free checkup. She also heard the good news of salvation and prayed to receive Christ into her heart. I felt like my pain was being washed away and I felt lighter. Today we're giving Dolores a wheelchair, but we're also supplying her with goods for her Sorry Sorry store. It's a small general store. And because she's been disabled for the last month, she's out of supplies and she needs a, a restart. So we're giving her two boxes, three boxes full of goods to restock her store so she can go back and, and start earning a living yet again. Then we took a few moments to pray for Dolores, that God would heal her from the effects of the stroke. And we just say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. And we ask that the kingdom of God would come and restore movement in her arm and in her leg and in the left side of her body, that from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, she would be set free and healed in Jesus' name. As we prayed, John and Carol Arnott joined in, and Dolores stood up from her wheelchair. And for the first time in over a year, Dolores began to walk and even dance. <laughs> I was so surprised. How was that possible? They said, just trust God. So even if I was afraid of falling, I walk. They asked if I was tired, and I said, no, I want to walk some more. I had never felt that way before. When Dolores got home from the medical mission, she set up her small general store outside and welcomed her first customer. If I had died sooner, I would not have met Operation Blessing and found out that God hasn't abandoned me. I felt like everything was against me, but now I know there are people like you who love me and have brought me closer to God. It's a beautiful thing that has happened to me today. Thank you very much. My daughter and I cannot thank you enough.